Hello everyone, I am Jihad Chandran. In this episode of Beeple's Come Closer, we are going to see about some cool Google search hacks which you may not know already. I have divided this video into two halves. The first half focuses on the elements through which Google keeps us engaged in its results page, whereas the second half focuses on the elements through which Google pushes us out of its page. So let's get started. To explain the first half of the video, we shall take an example scenario of me traveling to a place that I am very much unfamiliar with. And we shall see how Google search helps me so easily and fast. So we shall have a timer of 4 minutes and try to use the many Google features that allows us to get things done faster. Now let's set 4 minutes in the timer provided by Google and hop in. We can check the location of a flight just by using the flight number. Here it gives us arrival and departure timing and much more info about the flight. When I am travelling on an airplane, I wanted to visit a site to check some information from it. If I am travelling through international borders, I may have some server problems. At that time, Google's cache data comes to save me. Just search for the page you want and in the search results, tap on this menu to view the cache data of the page you want. If you want to know more about how this cache data works and where it comes from, tell me in the comments and I will make a video for you real soon. Before I get landed there, I wanted to know the weather at that place. Just search for weather and place and here comes the data. You can just enter the weather, it will show you the weather data for your current location. You can also apply the same to the time data too. Time and place or just time. The results are here. After I went there, I need someone to translate me into that language. Google translator comes into play. Just type Google Translator or type language1 to language2 to get your translator between the specified languages. Enter the sentence you want to translate, the result is shown in the side column. You can even click on the speaker button to play the text. After that I have to look for a place to stay. Just type in hotels nearby. It will list you the hotels that are around you. You can also type anything like hotels near any location. It will throw you the results. Ok, now I have chosen the hotel and want to know the best time to go there or I want to know when they are active. So just enter the name of the hotel or any service. On the right side are the first results, you will see an analysis showing price, active hours or more. So easy. After then, I want to eat something. I am more conscious of my health. So, just type in calories in any food item, you will see all about the food, the calories, the ingredients, the nutrition, all at one place without navigating to any other pages. After I have eaten, I wanted to pay the bill and some tip to the server. There comes a calculator. We can do basic math calculations in it, but there is one more. Search for tip calculator. It is more specific for splitting the bill and even tips for the server. Now I have a problem with the currency conversion, so I use the converter. Just type in the amount and currencies you want to convert. It returns the accurate market value of that date. In here, I can also make conversions for all metrics. Just give it a try. After that, I want to go back to my place before dark comes. So I type in sunset to know the sunset in my current location or any other location too. You can also try this with sunrise too. After then, if I feel bored, I used to play some casual light games. Google has results for that too. Just type in Pac-Man. You see a Google version of Pac-Man appearing in your screen. Just by tapping in the play button, I can start playing the game. I even have some more games too. Click on this down arrow. There are some more games too, all for free and live. On the right, click on tools, you will see some more cool tools on your screen. Just tap on anything, you are good to go. Try your own these tools and games and comment your favorite one in the comment box. Yep, we did all these things in just approximately 4 minutes. See how fast it is. Now you have seen how Google ropes us in its itself page to give the most frequent things we need. It's pretty cool, right? It's not over yet, we have a lot more to cover. Just stick around the last of the video where I have got something for you. Do you know that Google is the world's only website that allows to have very less session time in its page? Yes, it also offers some more hidden tools too. 
Let's see what they are. First, colon tools. Colon tools are some special tools used to filter out the needless information from the search results. For example, I want to know about Apple. So I type in Apple in the search box. Look at the results. They are all messed up. I need the article only from The Verge, so I do this. Just type site colon theverge.com. Now look at the results. All the pages are only from theverge.com. But is Verge the only source for articles about Apple? No, right? There are many similar sites. How do I get them? Just type in related colon theverge.com. You will get all the sites that are similar to The Verge. Now I need an article to download in PDF format. How do I do that? Google does that for us. Just type in the keyword you want and type file type colon pdf in your search query. All the results you get are in pdf. Just look at here. You can also try these for several other formats like doc, ppt and more. I can also get the cached version of a page using colon tools. Just type catch colon site. You get the same as we have seen before. It's super easy. There are some operators also available to make searching faster. Use and keyword in between two keywords to get results containing both. Or use R keyword similarly to get results that contain either one of the keywords. You can use minus to get results that don't contain that specific word. For example, if I want to search something about the bird swift, I enter swift. But look, the results are far away from the bird. So I use minus scars. This filter out scars from the search results. Or I can also use plus to do the exact opposite of it. Like plus bird will give the results only of birds. You can also use quoted text to get results containing the same phrase, which we can use for finding a song. What if you forgot any one word of the song? Google has you covered. Just enter asterisk where you forgot the word. It automatically fills the word for you. So smart. If you are searching for a more generic word, it may contain several words for a single meaning. In those cases, you can use a tilde. It acts as a synonym in your search query. You can also use double dots to specify the range. Enter the term and range. The results are filtered under that. You can also make a combination of these keywords to get a more refined search term. For example, I want to search about phones. It can be either Apple or Android. And I need the search results only from Amazon.com and its file type must be in PDF. Look, all the results come under the search query we given. The next one is kinda illegal but extremely useful. If you are looking for a TV series for free to download, you can use the index of. Just type in index of series name, space, season, space resolution. You can download the videos from any of the links for free, one click downloads. So easy, right? Now. At last, the big thing, the advanced search options. It is hidden under the settings menu. Click here to open the advanced search page. You can use all of the above set colon tools and operators from this page. Just give it a go. Have you noticed that the elements in the first half tend to keep us engaged in its site, whereas the second half focuses on the elements that gives the results as relevant as possible. That's a perfect balance that keeps Google where it is now. Google has tons of features like this, but I picked only some of them based on the usage. If you know anything that I haven't mentioned here, please mention in the comment box. Or if you need any particular videos that I want to make, please enter it in the comment box. I'll definitely make the videos for you. 
and if you liked and find this content useful just like and share this video and click on the subscribe button thanks for watching